Thanks for watching. Today we're going to talk about three areas that you should know about and you should address if you have kidney disease. This is Robert Galarowitz, kidney disease survivor. Still got my fistula. It's a very old one. Living with a kidney transplant much longer than I was ever supposed to because I've dedicated my life to kidney disease. So I'm giving you information here to improve yourself and help your health. And if you haven't, please subscribe. You can just click the subscribe button below. And today we're going to talk about these critical areas. So whether you've just got diagnosed or you just found out you had kidney disease or you've had it for a while, all right, you definitely have to look at diet. All right, and the last one's gonna be the most important thing, but diet is can't be underestimated when it comes to kidney disease. Even small diet changes go a big way. So if you've been diagnosed, you have to change your diet to some degree. Uh, you should, because it's really gonna help your situation and help your health, okay, so diet. And different dietary approaches depending what's going on with your health and what to control. So a little bit to explore when it comes to diet. Uh, you, that's why we have this resource here on YouTube and our website where you can read about different diets. But you have to make some type of diet changes at the bare minimum. You have to reduce or look to get rid of salt or sodium. Okay, so that's diet the bare minimum, get rid of salt or sodium, and you should go further with your diet. And always seek out the appropriate help or resources if you need to. Supplementation, proper nutritional supplementation from high quality companies that preferably are made in FDA registered labs and facilities. Okay, so supplementation is so important, so critical. Upwards of 80% of people with kidney disease are deficient in vitamin D. All right, and then we have high rates of deficiency in zinc, selenium, and a lot of other different nutrients. Okay, so at the minimum, you have to be using some type of good supplementation. And that'll also depend on what type of blood work you're getting. So the third area, which I feel is, is it's really the most important, okay, is to get proper, good, up-to-date medical care. Now, if you've been diagnosed with kidney disease or have kidney disease, you absolutely should be seeing a nephrologist. That's a specialist that, it's a medical doctor who's a specialist in kidney diseases. And your PCP or your primary care really shouldn't be managing your case, okay, unless they're a specialist. Now, your primary or PCP should be involved. You should have one. That should be part of your medical team. But a proper nephrologist can't be underestimated. Now, when it comes to getting a kidney doctor or nephrologist, you should get the opinion of at least three nephrologists. I highly recommend this. And I don't recommend to just go to one person, okay? The reason is, is that nephrology and kidney disease is very complicated, and I have yet to see any kidney doctor addressing all the different areas that can accelerate, contribute, cause uh, kidney disease and kidney health. So I'm on my seventh nephrologist now, and I really consider the nephrologist I'm seeing now to be uh, one of the best I've seen. You know, at least she, she looked at other areas, but she still wasn't as up to date. When I brought up the new dietary guidelines, she had no idea, okay, I had to send it to her. When I brought up the, um, the rates of the, uh, the vaccination taking effect in kidney uh, transplants, all right, she didn't know about that. So. Uh, you know, there's so much information, a tremendous amount. So it's always good to have more minds involved, more brains involved. Okay. And so you want to get three nephrologists, at least opinions. And what I've seen in people who've been in later stages of kidney disease for, for years, over a decade, and it hasn't progressed and then they've stabilized, they usually have like two, at least two nephrologists. Okay, they have one that's usually close to him. I know a guy, he goes out to a major university to see someone and he gets um, different viewpoints, different treatments, okay? Because it's really rare to find any kidney doctor that's gonna address all the different areas when it comes to kidney disease. Now you need to address uh, vitamin D, you need to address blood pressure, blood sugar. And so they tend to take care of those. You need to address the parathyroid hormone, okay? You need to address uh, the bun. Okay, you need to address maybe high phosphorus, uh, maybe elevated potassium. So, so many areas and so many areas that we learn about all the time. And according to the uh, Harvard Medical School, okay, Harvard Medical School did a study years ago and they wanted to see how many of their, uh, the graduating medical doctors did continuing education to follow up on the field. And they found uh, it was about 80, 85%, not, it could have been a little higher, but it was in that area, uh, didn't do any continuing education. You get their continuing education from, uh, the pharmaceutical reps who come in the office, okay, and I can tell you uh, from working with a nephrologist for years, that's kind of how it's done. That's where most doctors get that, and they may take some conventions, do some online um, quick courses to get their CEUs, but, you know, they're not, um, 
most of them aren't, they're not into it, meaning their heart's not in it. It's not a passion for them. Okay, it's a passion for me because if I don't take care of my kidney health, I'll be back on dialysis and I'm gonna die. Okay, and I don't want that. Okay, I got a family, I wanna live good. So it is a passion for me, it's all day, every day. It's not a job, okay, where I clock in and clock out and I don't think about it anymore. No, it's always what I think about, it's all I do, okay? Because I never wanna go through uh, dialysis again, never wanna have surgeries, never wanna be cut up again. Um, but now things are so different. If you have to go to dialysis, uh, it's a completely different ball game. But those are the things that you should definitely do. Diet, proper supplements, good conventional nephrology care, at least uh, get three opinions, at the minimum get two. And two different people not related to each other, not in the same practice, uh, even not affiliated with the same hospital if you can. Okay, so somebody completely different. So like, subscribe, comment. We get back to comments always. Sometimes it may take us 48 hours, but we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching, everybody, and to your best kidney health. Bye.